Hello, I have a student out sick today who uh, recently requested that I teach him Taylor Swift's new hot single, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, like ever. So I thought I'd make a video about it. Um, it's a pretty fun little riff to play. It's uh, I found it pretty challenging to get the hang of it in the right hand. The left hand, it's, it's four, four basic chords, but they're all a little bit screwy. Um, the right hand is a significant challenge. It, it, there's a challenge in the way you pick and strum the strings. Uh, it combines string skipping with strumming and uh, well-placed muting in the right hand. So let's see what it sounds like first. start breaking that down by looking at only at the left hand at the four different chords. So the first one is a C add 9, it's not quite your normal C major. That note under your first finger from a normal C major chord, that note has to go up two frets. So in order to avoid using your pinky, just rearrange these fingers. So you're using on the fifth string, third fret with your second finger, fourth string, second fret with your first finger. 3rd string is open, 2nd string is 3rd fret with your 3rd finger. So again that's frets uh, starting from the A string, frets 3, 2, 0, 3. The low E string and the high E string, you leave those out. I prefer to just completely mute them, so the back of my ring finger is touching the high E string, and the tip of my middle finger is touching the low E string, so if I hit those, they just don't come into the chord at all. The rest of the chord drowns those out. The next chord is a G chord, and this one's a little bit screwy too. A uh, normal G chord will probably look like this, or maybe like this, depending on how you learned it. This one, um, it's the same basic structure. Middle finger goes on third, third fret of the low E string, and the back of that finger will mute the fifth string. So you don't need this, this guy on the fifth string anymore. Then you want open D, open G, and then third finger is on third fret of the D string. And again, I'm muting that high E string just in case I catch it with my pick. So we've got fret 3, mute, 0, 0, 3, mute. Third chord is a D5, which is just like a normal D chord, except you eliminate the high E string. You don't need this note anymore that your middle finger is getting. So you just need fret 0 on the D string, fret 2 on the G string, fret 3 on the B string. And again, muting out the high E string with the back of my ring finger, and I also have my thumb over the top to mute the low E and A strings. That can be a little bit of a challenge if you've got small hands, but in my experience, unless you're tiny, it's doable in the long run. Um, so with this one, it's mute, mute, zero, two, three, mute. The last chord is an E minor chord, and it's similar to that G chord in that we're, we're leaving out a few strings of the normal six string E minor chord. All we need is one finger for this. First finger will go on second fret of the D string. So we get zero on the open E. The A string, we don't hit it, but I mute it with the tip of my first finger anyway, I'm just barely touching it. So we get zero, mute, two, zero, zero, and then we don't need to mute the high E, we're just not going to use it. So the, the E minor chord is zero, mute, two, zero, zero, that's all we need. And now for the picking, this is the hard part. Luckily two of these four chords are pretty easy. So starting with the first one, G add nine, you just hit it and stop it, that's all you got to do. Strum it, and then with the back side of this hand, the, like you're doing a little karate chop, you stop the strings. Next, moving to the G chord, we get... That's the complicated part. So it starts with uh, leading into the downbeat, up strum on the G string. Then that's your downbeat when you hit uh, downstroke on the low E string. Then you have to skip over the A string, and get another three down strokes on the D, G, and B strings. So putting that all together, 
as soon as you hit that B string, you got to mute again. And that's the that's the tough part because you've just picked a string. Your pick is in there between a couple strings, and you got to turn your hand to get that mute. Once you do the mute, come back with three upstrokes on those same three strings. Uh, strings two, three, and four, B, G, and D. So everything together is... And as soon as you come up on that D string, you got to move to the next chord, D5. And D5 is just the same strumming as the C add 9 in the beginning. You just hit it and stop it with the right side of your hand. Next, the E minor chord is going to be exactly the same as the G chord. So you come up on the open G and hit down on the low E string on the downbeat. So three, four, and five. So that you hit down on the low E, skip over the A string, and hit the G, or sorry, the D, G, and B strings. Consecutive down strokes, and then you mute it as soon as you hit the B, and then back up on those three. So all of that again is up on the G string, down on the E, skip over the A, hit the D, G, B, mute, up, up, up on those same three. And that's, that's it for all those four chords, so putting it all together slowly now. slowly relative to learning those notes but it was slow relative to the song so it's a little easier to hear what's going on as you're learning it and putting it together yourself just make sure you're hitting all of those all of those strings correctly in the correct direction just keep in mind that you're always picking towards the new string that you're about to go to so when you're strumming it's always downstroke when you get through all the strings but when you're picking single strings it's always towards the string you're about to hit so it's up on the G down on the low E down on the D, down on the G, down on the B, mute, up on the B, up on the G, up on the D, and then you come down for the next strum for the next chord. That's it. Have fun.